Dr. Ven Gupta now, NBC News contributor, affiliate assistant uh, professor at the University of Washington. Dr. Gupta, as always, thank you. For anybody who's about to get a vaccine shot, what should they know about these potential side effects? And is there a way to like prepare or do you just dive in? Shep, good evening. You know, there's no really way to prepare. What I would say is we know that if you've had a previous significant allergic reaction to a vaccine of a different type, not for COVID, say the flu or another vaccine, if you, frankly, I counsel patients who've had food allergies that are significant or medication allergies, talk to your clinical provider. They might be wise to actually go see an allergist to make sure you're safe for the COVID vaccine. What's the clear contraindication to the vaccine is if you've actually had a dose of the vaccine and had a severe anaphylactic reaction. That's what we don't get the second dose if you're in line for, say, the Pfizer Moderna regimen. What I'll also say, Shep, is there's clear guidance now from the CDC that after you've had your vaccine, if let's say you're getting the first shot of your Pfizer vaccine and you, and you have body aches or a low-grade temp, you can take Tylenol, mm -hmm. you can take Motrin to help manage some of those symptoms. So that's, that's the best way here. That's the best anticipatory guidance we have right now. Dr. Gupta, so many people say they won't get the shot. Almost half of Republican men in a recent survey are saying no. How big a problem could that become? Uh, it, it's it's going to determine the trajectory of this pandemic, Chef. I mean, I, 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 all expectations are, all forecasts right now say that we're going to be past the worst of this with normalcy by, say, end of June, early July. That, however, is contingent on people actually getting the vaccine to the tune of 75 to 80 percent of eligible adults by that time period. If that's not the case, if there's skepticism or hesitancy that's that high, then we're not going to get there. And there's a, there's a scenario here that uh, University of Washington and others have modeled suggesting that we could still see 100,000 cases a day, at least 1,000 deaths, if people are not getting vaccinated to the tune that we expect them to. So it's a big deal. Dr. Gupta, yesterday, President Biden said there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But medically speaking, what does that really mean? What, what does it look like when we're out of the tunnel? We should define being out of the worst of this pandemic as a decrease in hospitalizations and deaths so that healthcare systems can manage any future potential surge. We might shut, still see 60 to 80,000 cases a day, but as long as we don't see a parallel increase in hospitalizations and deaths, this is going to turn into much more of a seasonal type virus where we're going to live with it, but people will be protected by the vaccine from its worst impact. So that's what normalcy is going to look like. There's still going to be transmission of the virus, but people won't get sick and end up in the hospital. That's the hope, that only a small segment of society may remain vulnerable and we can manage that. But that's, that's, what, that's what normalcy is going to look like, management, not complete eradication. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.